Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2022 GMC Denali to a 2022 Ram 1500 Limited. Now, I picked these two specific trucks because they both actually have diesel powertrains, and they're both pretty close in terms of their sticker price. The Ram is slightly more expensive than the Denali, but we'll kind of get into that as we're going through the comparison with these trucks. Before we get into the comparison, though, I do want to mention if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get right into the review. Starting things off under the hood of the GMC Denali, we've got the three liter inline six Duramax diesel goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 277 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Average fuel economy is going to be in the mid 20s, and that's actually for both of the uh, powertrains with these trucks. They have uh, pretty much identical fuel economy. Popping over to the Ram, we've got the Eco Diesel. So this is again three liters, but it's a V6 instead of an inline six. Goes through an eight-speed automatic transmission instead of a ten-speed, and then it's good for 260 horsepower and then 480 pound-feet of torque. So the Ram's got a little bit less horsepower but more torque, right? And then, like I said, fuel economy is pretty much the same between both of these little diesels. Now going over the front end of the Denali. So this is not the like loaded up bad boy version of the Denali. But again, like I said, it's pretty similar in price to this Ram Limited. Uh, but you can see the chrome trim right there on the front end and then the GMC logo with the camera at the bottom. And then the C-shaped lights here. And then notice the silver accenting off to the side. And then you can see there with the uh, LED lights just how bright those are. By the way, the lights don't actually blink like that in person. That's just because of the frame rate of the camera. And then notice the accenting there down below. Parking sensors, got your tow hooks on the front end. And it definitely has that nice luxury truck look from a front end perspective, especially with how large the grill is. And so I think it looks great. Now popping over to the Ram, notice we have a completely different design language. Everything's kind of more rounded off with the front of the Ram Limited. And you notice here off to the side, you get your 1500 Eco Diesel badge, got to flex it, it's got the diesel. LED accent lights with the projector bulbs. Uh, I feel like both of them have a really solid uh, lighting system, and I think they both are stylized in a solid way. Also, notice you've got a camera there at the front, right below the A and the RAM logo. Really nice looking front grille. I've got the parking sensors on the front end, and then notice the chrome tow hooks there. And then this one has the body painted front bumper. And again, it's a smaller grille, so it doesn't look as like crazy as an imposing, but you know, sells that luxury look. Now popping here to the side, of the Denali. This has 22s from the factory, which, which uh, definitely massive wheel. It's really cool how they have like the bright chrome and you got like the silver below it. And so there's a lot of contrast from a color perspective with the wheels themselves. And then there's a quick look at the front suspension. And then you guys can see here with the fender flares and then those Duramax turbo diesel badge. And then you got your Denali logo down below. And then you got the chrome there at the top of the mirror and then on the door handles. And then also around the window trim. And then here's your full side view on the new Denali. This one, it has the longer bed. If you guys are wondering uh, proportion wise with this particular truck and then being a diesel, right? You got your DEF and diesel filler right there. You still have leaf springs here in the back with the new Denali. And then you guys can see kind of the tread pattern on the tires. Now popping over to the Ram, uh, 20s are standard. You can get 22s as an option on the limited. Most limiteds that I see at dealerships usually have the 20s and not the 22s. So it's just kind of what I've been seeing on the trucks. And then this uh, has air suspension because, well, that comes standard with the Limiteds. Notice we've got the Ram Limited logo there on the side and then uh, body painted fender flares, chrome mirrors. So notice a lot of similarities. And then here's your full side view. Uh, nice thing about the air suspension, right, is adjustable and it does help give the truck a really nice smooth ride quality. And if you don't get a Ram Limited, if you get other Rams, you can get them with coil suspension, but like I said, Limited, only comes with air suspension. There's no delete. Anyways, you got the key fob here. Notice you got the tailgate drop down and then the auto stop start. And there's a quick look at the bed area. And you can see everything's covered there. Notice you got the LED light there on the side of the bed. You got the handle as well. And then a full outlet, which is so practical, right? I think every truck needs to have at least one outlet, if not several. And then you got the Denali logo there at the end of the bed. And then you can see the cargo light at the top. And then as for the tailgate, um, notice that this one has the multi-pro tailgate, which is really cool. Uh, it does have a weight limit of like 375 pounds. So if you're a big boy, can't use it, <laughs> right? But it's still cool that you got that tailgate step. 
And then you can see the GMC Denali logo, Sierra badge. Now the rear of the uh, new GMC Sierra looks pretty much identical to the previous version. So you have to look at the front to tell if it's the redesigned version, but it's still a really good looking rear end, right? Sounds kind of weird to say that, but it is, okay? Okay, it's got a nice booty, right? Got a nice truck booty. Um, you guys can see here with the key fob with the limited, now you've got your lock and unlock tailgate drop down. You got that for the air suspension and then the remote start as well. And then here's the bed area itself. Again, notice bed liner, it's just like with the GMC. You've got the LED bed lights there on either side and then the cargo light at the top is also an LED. And this has the shorter bed. I do want to mention that. So that Denali has a longer bed. Uh, you can get a long bed on the limited if you want. And then notice here at the LED lights in the rear. And then we've got our four x four badge limited logo, chrome exhaust tips there at the bottom. Notice parking sensors as well on the rear that comes standard with the truck. And you know, it's a, it's a good looking truck from a rear end perspective. I think they both look great uh, stylistically. And you know, hopefully you guys can see side by side the different kind of you know, style cues they do on both of them. GMC is a little bit box here. But anyways, popping out of the interior. This is the big news with the GMC, right? The interior has been updated. And you can see the wood trim has, uh, you know, doesn't have a high gloss finish anymore. And then look at the stitching there. And then the leather looks great from an aesthetic perspective. Huge improvement over the first iteration of this new body style, right? The 2019 and above. And then you can see you still have the seat storage, which makes it super practical. And also the seats themselves, really nice in terms of the feel. And I, th I think they look great too. Under seat storage, just practical. And stepping in, you've got the power side steps that help out. And then you guys can see legroom and then headroom. <laughs> My hair's all over the place. It was so windy that day. A couple cup holders. And you see heated seats in the back. And then you got the vents. You got USBs. And then you can see the pull down for the armrest cup holder situation. And now let's pop back over to the Ram Limited. So you can see really nice door panel from a material standpoint with all of the leather wood trim. And you can see the power side steps. Got the Ram logo. And then you can see here with the seats again. Same thing. Really nice with the leather design. I will say the Ram door panel and seats are a little bit more stylized. Material use is similar with both the trucks, but the Ram uh, seats are a little bit more stylized. Like there's, there's more going on from a design perspective. Notice heated and cooled seats for the rear. You've got the power outlet back there. You've got cup holders, wood trim, really nice from a material standpoint. And the seat covers, right? It completely covers the whole seat with leather, which is great. Popping to the front of the Denali. Notice they carry all that nice material use here to the front. Uh, the thing I think is interesting is below that wood uh, panel, it's actually hard touch. It's not like soft touch leather, but it's like the same color as the leather, uh, how they integrate that. It's kind of interesting. And you got the stitching down below. All the window controls, you guys can see the mirrors. And then I love that is the secondary Denali logo. Bose sound system. I guess we should talk about sound system. So you got the Harman Kardon. Uh, that you can get in the Ram uh, Limited. Uh, this one's got the upgraded Bose sound system. From a clarity perspective, I would say the Harman Kardon has a little bit more clarity, but in a vacuum, you're, you're going to be rocking out either way. They both have really good sound systems. Um, but outside of a vacuum, I think the clarity in the Harman Kardon is just a little bit better. All of your, you guys can see there are all the controls for the drive line, select drive mode, select light controls, steering wheel is power adjustable, which is big. You guys will see why that's big in a second because popping over to the Ram, first off, you can see the door panel. They carry the material use here to the front with the wood and with the leather and with the embroidery. It looks great. And then you got the nice speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system. All of the window controls, the mirrors do power fold in. It's got the trailer mirrors with blind spot monitoring and then memory seats. So, you know, it's got all those normal luxury truck stuff. And then, like I said, with the seats, really nice with the design that they've gone for. Power adjustments are on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below. And then you can see the pedal adjustment, got the parking brake, light control. And then notice steering wheel is manually adjustable. Just saying, Ram, you got to step up your game. Popping back into the Denali. So, got this cool digital dash now, which we'll go over in just a moment. But here's the steering wheel. Uh, so, you guys can see here with the steering wheel itself, we've got nice leather trim all around the steering wheel and then the stitching there in the center portion and then all the controls for the center stack and then you can see the cruise controls all that so the steering wheel didn't really change a massive amount you do have paddles there on the back though so if you manually shift with the 10 speed it's cool they offer that in multiple packages that's definitely adds to the practicality radio controls there on the back turn signal windshield wiper stock but yeah it's, it's a good looking steering wheel gauge cluster i love it uh, the new digital gauge cluster looks great uh, they've got this in the new silverado right and then they have this you know in gmc's lineup they've got it in the new yukon and then on the Chevy side of things, the Tahoe. And it, yeah, just, it just looks great. 
and it just makes the interior feel a little bit more modern. And you know, when you're buying a luxury truck like this, you, you want to have that feel like you're in a nice modern vehicle. And then notice when you go in the tow mode, it automatically turns on the diesel exhaust brake, which I think is pretty cool. And again, cause it's got diesel, you got diesel exhaust brake and a half ton. Now it's got a few different drive modes too. Normal sport and then off-road from a drive mode perspective. That's something that the Ram does not have. Uh, it has like an eco mode pop up, but it's not like you can actively turn it on or off. So I think it's interesting. Now here's the infotainment system from camera perspective, super solid. It's got 360 camera view. Now it's got the bird's eye view. And then you literally have uh, a bunch of camera angles. That's for like trailer tow. And then you've got the regular trajectory lines, but you can see out of every single angle of the truck, uh, GM's just done a really good job with their cameras uh, from a re resolution perspective, but then also just, you know, they cover everything on the truck. And I do believe they're the first half ton uh, truck maker to offer like a cargo camera like that. So yeah, they've just, you know, they've, they've done a good job with that. And then as for the rest of the uh, infotainment system, response time's great with the screen and it's nicely integrated in the dash. It looks modern. It, you know, it's got this nice stylized appearance to it and they've got, you know, shortcut buttons there on the side and then you have that side screen. So it's, it's great. And then you guys can see here, uh, one thing about the screen though, is the, uh, it's dark. So there's a little bit of glare, but stop start button. You got your climb controls, heated, cooled seats here for the front. And they got a bunch of controls down here. Main stuff is like the tailgate drop down and then hill descent control. And then I love how you have a button to roll down all four windows at once. It's kind of an interesting thing that uh, GM has in some of their products. Love the new shifter. feels like you're doing something substantial. Uh, Ram does offer this in their GT package, but you can't get that in a limited. So that's uh, something to consider if you like having a shifter like that. Trailer brake control and then cup holders. And then the center console. I love the new center console layout. You've got good storage space, but then you have the wireless phone charger there at the front, which will actually hold your phone in place. That's definitely a good practical thing to have. And the leather on it's really nice. How they have that like cowhide texture. And then you got the dual glove box set up and notice here with the leather there and the stitching and then the wood trim, the glove box looks great too. Definitely brought that up. And then also notice all of the padding there on the dash too with the stitching, which again, definitely brings up the interior. Got the camera mirror, which is an important safety feature. And then regular sunroof here at the top. And you got the controls for power setting window. And then also for the sunroof as well there at the top. And then lighter colored headliner. Also heads up display. That's another thing with the GMC that it has over the Ram because the Ram does not have a heads up display. Now, funny enough, this didn't have like the like normal window sticker. It just showed the truck model. But anyways, again, this has the baby Duramax and it's a preferred package Denali. So it's like the base model Denali, uh, but still stickers for about $72,000 with this configuration. If you guys are wondering from a price perspective, but popping back over into the Ram now, we've got the startup here on the half analog, half digital gauge cluster for the Ram limited, but uh, here's the steering wheel. So you've got the nice leather trim around the steering wheel. And then with the limited, you got the wood trim at the top. And then we have regular cruise control, adaptive cruise control. I guess we do need to talk about that. So Ram does not uh, currently have like a steering assist with their truck. They've got lane departure, but they don't have like a steering assistance. And then they also don't have something that's going to compete with Super Cruise yet. So that's the thing that um, I haven't seen yet, right? That Denali that we reviewed doesn't have the Super Cruise, but that's something that you can get in the new GMC Denali is the Super Cruise where the truck will basically drive itself. So that is something to bring up. And then you can see here at the top with the dash and everything. And then you guys saw the gauge cost. We've been over that a million times, <laughs> but here's the infotainment system. So we've got the big 12 inch display. Uh, notice the camera system, you know, shows just as many things from a viewpoint perspective, pretty much doesn't show like all the wheel shots and everything that the uh, GMC shows, but you know, I've got side view and everything. So it's, it's solid from a camera perspective. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't take up as much of the screen. So the camera's technically like smaller because it doesn't take as much of the screen, if that makes sense. That's the rest of the 12 inch display response time's great. And uh, with this new 12 inch display, uh, it pretty much functions the same as the other one. You've got the shortcut buttons at the bottom and there's so many different things you can scroll through. It takes a second, but once you figure everything out, it's it's pretty easy to use. You got heated cold seats and dual zone climate. Climate controls are on the side, but of course you can't see it because the <laughs> screen's so bright that the camera's just like, all I see is screen, nothing else in the frame. <laughs> Notice we got the parking sensors here, trail hall mode, stability control, and then the button to raise and lower the air suspension, trailer brake controls, and then this one has the trailer steering assist. And then we have our dial shifter. 
It's the only shifter you can get with the limited. Got your two-wheel drive, four-wheel auto, four-wheel high, and then four-wheel low with the neutral as well. And then notice here at the center console setup, got limited there. And RAM has the cool sliding center console, definitely bigger from a storage space perspective than what you have in the GMC. So that is a cool thing with the RAMs is the actual console itself. Wireless phone charger, and they got the dual glove box. And then you can see here with the leather there on the wood trim on the glove box, and then also the leather trim on the dash as well, kind of the whole aesthetic that they're going for there. Camera mirror, just like you have on the Denali, power setting window. And then you can see there with the headliner. Uh, no sunroof in this one, but you can get a panoramic with the Ram trucks. Now as for the window sticker, um, this truck, after all options, it's hard to see because of the glare, but stickers for $76,000. And yeah, let's sum things up with this comparison. So obviously these trucks are really uh, comparable from a powertrain perspective, right? They both have the diesel powertrains and, you know, Denali is like the luxury version of the GMC and, you know, the Ram Limited is the luxury version of the Ram 1500. So they're comparable from that perspective and you know price points pretty close the gmc is like four thousand dollars less expensive so we do have to mention that with this particular uh comparison here's what i have to say seeing both of these trucks in person is i think that the new styling with the denali works i i saw some comments where people said oh, well, it doesn't look as good as the previous version it's not photogenic uh, a lot of new vehicles are like that there's not photogenic but in person it, it has this more modern appearance but it still stays true to gmc styling so i think it looks great i think the ram limited also looks great so it's just going to depend which one you like stylistically more uh, i will say it's one thing that did pop out to me on the exterior of both of them is the ram had body painted fender flares whereas with the gmc they were not body painted i think that they should make them body painted on the gmc uh, I, I just think that would make it look a little bit uh, nicer but i do like contrast too so it's kind of like i'm, I'm on the fence with that um aside from uh fender flare stuff from an interior perspective right gmc has brought up their interior a massive amount it looks so luxurious and again this is not the denali ultimate you guys need to remember that this is the base model denali the denali ultimate i have seen it in person at the chicago auto show that interior is significantly nicer than this base version of the Denali. So just kind of take that into account. But with this comparison, we're comparing this Denali to this Limited. It, you know, it's still really nice interior. It's got nice wood trim. It's got nice leather. Um, I will say, I feel like the Ram interior looks a little bit more stylized with some of the uh, elements, right? Kind of certain elements pop a little bit more. But then with the GMC, it looks a little bit techier with the infotainment system, with the digital gauge cluster. And, you know, from a feature perspective, they're pretty much identical uh, in terms of the features, right? And so, yeah, there are some features that are a little bit different with both of the trucks, right? With the Ram, it didn't have the heads-up display, whereas with that Denali, it did. But you can get a heads-up display with the Ram. Uh, and so, like, it seems like they're pretty similar from what you can get these two trucks weren't identical feature wise but if you spec them both out fully loaded they're pretty much the same vehicle from a feature perspective um again it's just going to come down to preference and then also preference on suspension because the gmc still uses leaf springs which will give you a bit of a higher payload capacity the ram uses air suspension which does improve ride quality so again, do you want a better ride quality or do you want to have a higher payload capacity? What are you going to be using the truck for? Uh, yeah, it's it, it's a tough one. And so I, I'm excited because now it just means that the truck maker is going to have to be even more competitive. But I want you guys to let me know which one you would pick, the Ram or the new Denali. And once I'm able to get a full review of a Denali Ultimate, I will be doing a comparison between that and the Ram Limited and the Ford F-150 Limited when I also have a chance to review a 22 Ford F-150 Limited. Hopefully a Ford dealership gets one in soon. I'll see you guys.